Yeah, let's just stop the car on the apex. That that works. That's how you navigate a corner quickly. You you just stop in the middle of it. What a great plan. Was the movie out in? I mean, not like. Yeah, was the initial D movie uh, season three out in two thousand one? Because personally, I think that the CG looks a little bit better than that. Cause, like, wasn't reboot around in two thousand one? Or was that? Or am I thinking of Battle of the Martian? I don't know. Those things were around two thousand one, right? So like the the CG in initial D looks a a teensy weensy bit more advanced than the CG in uh, Battle of the Martians. Not gonna lie. You know, I, I, I love Butterly Martians. I, I talk about it a lot on this channel. Grew up watching it with my dad when I was tiny. It's, it's pretty much the only, like, cartoon we remember together. Butterly Martian. Um, so, you know, it's got, it's got that sentimental value. It's got that nostalgia. Rated as... Usually rated as one of the worst cartoons of all time. Definitely uh, made me a worse person than what I could have been. You know, I could probably have been fairly successful if it wasn't for Bugly Martians, but... <laughs> Who am I kidding? I wouldn't have been that successful, like, even despite Bugly Martians. Like, if, if Bugly Martians had never existed, I'd probably still be here doing this, so I doubt it had too much of an impact on my life. Still, Bugly Martians was pretty dumb. All they wanted was a hoverboard. Is that one of the lines from the intro song? I can't remember anything that happened, I just remember that it was a thing. Bugly Martians, what a classic. Oh, what else can I talk about? Um... Hmm... 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 No, I got nothing. Even after that extended period of thinking, got nothing. I don't know what to talk about. Again. Which happens a lot. Then again, there's not a lot going on in my brain. Really. Let's be honest. So, maybe it's not all that surprising. But I've got nothing to say over the top of me driving a Honda Civic Type R. In front of an Integra Type R and a couple of other Civics. I'm not even really driving, it's a video game. We'll probably talk about the latest movie I watched, Acura, which is, I think, like, I, I, I know how I always say, like, Initial D is the only acceptable anime. I'm starting to think maybe I should broaden my horizons after watching Acura, because that was rad, dude. Acura was fucking cool. Like, all the way through. Like, we got the cool bikes, we got the cool cyberpunk looking uh, aesthetic going on, which I'm scared of saying aesthetic, because sometimes I'm worried I've got a lisp. I probably do. Um, you got the, the dude that Tetsuo, you got him getting psycho, psych, psycho? Psychic powers. 
telekinetic and stuff, where he can just... Where he jumps into space and blows up a giant laser. Yeah, that was cool. What, can I, what else can I say? Or maybe I, maybe I should, maybe, maybe, kind of, maybe watch some more anime. Maybe I don't know. If if there's more anime like Akira, then that'd be cool. I've already watched Ghost in the Shell before. That was kind of cool, but like it was less action, so a little bit boring, maybe. They're making the live action remake, which is undoubtedly going to be worse because they're using the woman from the superhero movies, um, Scarlett Johansson, I think. So, it's kind of a, an immediate minus is they're using the superhero movie lady. I don't really have anything to say about Acura apart from it was fucking rad. Like, I'm not one to do a uh, detailed analysis of movies. Because I, I wouldn't really know what I was talking about. So I'm not going to pretend. I, I, there is a lot going on in Acura, like behind the explosions. There's probably like, I'm probably, I bet there definitely is like tons of like social commentary and stuff. And like that kind of all that kind of thing. Same way with like video drone. There's more to it than a dude getting sucked into a TV show, kind of having hallucinations. It's about like MK Ultra or whatever. Oh, cool, cool. I can do a session save midway through this championship. That, that's neat. That's useful. I'll use that. Like, Acura is probably about Cold War, like, nuclear radiation testing and stuff. Because, like, it's, you know, it's about World War III. It's cool. You know? It looks cool, and it feels cool. Therefore, it's cool. As the dude from Need for Madness once said. Most of the movies I've watched recently have been from the 80s, or at least set in like the late 70s or 80s. And that's okay. In my, in my book, kind of not really interested in modern movies all that much. Especially because they have the superhero woman playing a cyborg robot. You know what, the only reason I watched Ghost in the Shell is because of uh, that video someone made on YouTube where they put clips from Ghost in the Shell on top of, like, under, oh, guess, well, they put the song uh, King of My Castle by Wamdu Project, they put that on top of clips from Ghost in the Shell. And that song I only knew about because, like, when I used, used to use my Xbox 360 uh, all the time and my dad had the computer set up to share things. Oh, I can't remember how it worked, but it doesn't do it anymore. But, like, you can connect the, um, 360 to, like, a computer wirelessly, and it would, like, pick up all the music saved on that computer or whatever, and then you could play it through the Xbox. The only reason I found out about King of My Castle was from that, my dad having it. Because it's a pretty old song. Not as old as bands like Paul McCartney and the Beatles, but still pretty old. Just... Now that I mention it, that's a joke I like, where you take the front man of a band and write and the name of the band, like when it wasn't actually that. Because you end up with like Kurt Cobain and the, and the Nirvanas. And uh, I think one of the ones that I find the funniest 
uh, Tom York and the Radioheads. Now that may have sounded like a pause to, like a pause for laughter. That was a pause because I couldn't think of anything to, anything clever to say right after that. So I just said, because I've got, I've run out of uh, commentary ideas again. I'm gonna mention every time I run out of commentary ideas because there's no way that joke could get old. <laughs> 